TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue. It's a grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Right behind me, you see it. Little warning screen. Just in case, man. Uh, don't forget we do that Patreon.com. That's where we still post stuff that we watch, um, that we can't watch on YouTube. Also, man, twitch.com, man, usernames at the bottom of the screen. This is Nick Shirley. Inside the UK's dangerous migrant crisis riots. I gotta cover everybody's little insight, man. I got two, three videos in the pipeline that's they not letting me put up yet, so I just gotta wait. That's why you got no post the last two days. It's crazy. Anyway, talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. Civil war is on the rise. A civil war is inevitable. It will happen. They're not asylum seekers. They've gone through 16 safe countries. They're safe in France. France isn't a war. Where the hell did they see get Tommy from? Where is Tommy at? And how did you get here? Uh, I get by boat. My boat, yeah, from France. Migrants are welcome here. Migrants said it's not their fault that they have to leave con leave countries which are subject to war. What did most people here in the United Kingdom think about all the migrants that are coming over? Oh, no, there are a load of racists around yeah. here. They're racists. Two racists, man. The United Kingdom has recently erupted and the kingdom is not united. In fact, it seems to be very divided at the moment. Riots have broken out across the country. The police have made arrests on men and women for speaking out. And the major underlying issue to all this is the current migrant crisis and the two-tier policing inside the United Kingdom. In this video, I will show you what has caused the UK to erupt as I investigate and dig deep into the migrant crisis. I will be going to the start of the issue here in Dover, England, and I will be speaking with the UK's most controversial man, Tommy Robinson. I will be attending the largest rally in UK history and going to other cities that have been changed due to the influx of migrants. And I will also be going to certain parts of London where migrants have taken over parks and- Wow. I would, I would say I haven't seen this before, but I definitely have. In Chicago, this is I'm talking about, I think it's all Belmont. I want to say Belmont. Belmont and Sheridan, like, or uh, Lakeshore, whatever. Boom, it's all of this. As they have set up their own encampments, this is going to get hectic. And let's start by going to Do My friend, and um, sh uh, she lived on the, I forgot, she had moved. But wherever she moved, there was a huge park behind her place. And uh, it was a, they start setting up a bunch of tents there. And she was she was literally got scared to walk across that park anymore. He went and purchased her a firearm. Dover, England. And why is Dover such an important city regarding the migrant issue here in the United Kingdom? Because here in Dover is where thousands and potentially millions of migrants have crossed the English Channel from France on inflatable boats coming here to the United Kingdom. And from Dover to the closest town in France, it is about 20 miles stretch. And once a migrant boat gets within 10 miles of the border of the United Kingdom. They are then intercepted by the Coast Guards and they are brought here to this pier here in Dover. It's a pretty Really? That's it? That's the process? The process that goes on here with the migrants right behind me is a barricade that we cannot see where the migrants are at. However, we do know that this is where the migrants come in and they are put behind this wall. And right over there on the other side, there are tents and buses that then take the migrants from here and they spread them out throughout the United Kingdom. And I'm also here with Brooker T. Jones, my mother, and she's gonna be coming along the ride to see what's happening here with the migrant crisis. So how do the people- W mom for supporting her son. People here feel about the migrants that are coming into Dover. I don't like it, do they? There's too many coming over. Mm -hmm. It just ruins this town, it's ruined it. And would you say the majority of people here in Dover and in the United Kingdom in general are very accepting of the migrants? No, no one likes them. What did most people here in the United Kingdom think about all the migrants that are coming over? Oh, no, there are a load of racists around yeah. here. They're racist. Two racists, man. What do you think causes all the racism? Well, it's England, isn't it? I'm not a racist myself. So with that, they're coming over here. But obviously, at the same time, yes, some of us are struggling. And when they come over here, they've got... They just get everything handed to them. 
because obviously they're going to they're the ones that need the help. But most people in Dover, you you could go anywhere and ask anyone, they'd say they they belong to go. They have to go back. How do the people here in the town of Dover feel about the migrants coming in? I don't know. I don't, I don't think they like it. Why so? Because um, they don't belong here. And where should they go? Back to their country. Why don't you like them coming over in your country? Because uh, most of them ain't uh, working, you know what I mean? Like They're just coming over and using all our shit. How do you feel about the migrants that are all coming over? I think everyone deserves a life, to be honest with you. If they need to come here to be happy and have a life, then I think they should be entitled to. And so are there like cartels or other groups that smuggle migrants into the border? Probably say so, mate. So uh, there's loads of them. In the United States, we have cartels that kind of control all the migrants. Is there some sort of thing like that here in the United Kingdom? I'm sure there is, but you don't see it. You don't see it at all. There's definitely help <laughs> for these people or misinformation for these people pushing them towards us. But yeah, I'd say there definitely is. To better understand the UK migrant crisis, I met up with Tommy Robinson. Now, if you do not know who Tommy is, he is known for being the most controversial activist in the United Kingdom, as he has no fear to speak his own opinion. The media- I'm not gonna lie, when I clicked this video, I did not expect him to have this guy in it. Labels Tommy as a far right British man who is a racist, fascist, and meanwhile, others say he's a patriot to the United Kingdom. And after this interview, you will see how Tommy managed to hold the largest rally in the United Kingdom history. And now pay close attention to what Tommy says about the UK migrant crisis and comment down below what you think about this issue because I think some of this information will shock you. What is happening here inside the United Kingdom with the migrant crisis? The migrant crisis, we're losing our culture, we're losing our identity, we're being replaced. We feel like well, we're becoming minorities in most, most major cities. We're being driven out of our own country, driven out, out of our own towns. So people are uncomfortable with it, but people have been scared into silence from even having these discussions due to the fear of being black, branded a racist, losing your job, cancel culture. All these things prevent the public from telling the truth. Well, I come from a town that's uh, 30 miles north of London. When I was born in 1982, there was one mosque, there's now 45. Yeah? So I, and 50% of the town is Pakistani Muslim. So I, I see the difference, I see the problems from history hostility, the culture, the aggression, um, Islamic domination, all these things. So I've spoke about it, but 15 years ago, people didn't want to listen. And where are the migrants coming from? Everywhere, <laughs> absolutely everywhere. So Afghanistan, Somalia, Eritrea, Pakistan, Iraq, Syria, they all say now they're Iranian. They all, they all have their one to say that they can try and get in. But when we say it, migrants, yeah, we, they say asylum seekers. They're not asylum seekers. They've gone through 16 safe countries. They're safe in France. France isn't a war. And why do they come here to the United Kingdom? Because they get a free house. They get given priority above us. They get everything above us. So British people, you can go into this town centre, you'll find English people sleeping rough, homeless on the street. You go to a hotel and you'll see it full of, full of 100 Pakistani men who are getting free phone credit, getting given money every week, and then in a few years they'll bring all their families over as well. So in the United States, the same thing is happening as well. They're bringing the migrants over, but our border is different. It's a land, and they cross over the United States, Mexico border, and then they get put in the hotels, and they get free. Oh man, I didn't even realize he was American until just now. Wow. Healthcare, they get free phones, they get free everything. It's not a mistake. None of this is a mistake. None of it. Your borders didn't open at the same time as our borders. Every border in Europe opened at the same time. Eight million people come through yours. They talk about them, literally, they took out Gaddafi, they opened up the floodgates to Europe by taking him out, and the migrants literally go 20 metres off the coast of Libya, and they get picked up by NGOs, which are funded by the German government, and then they get brought into Europe. And as they're brought into Europe, they come into our communities, they break down our communities, we're weakened, so we and, and, and part of it is we're all looking and arguing with each other mm -hmm. whilst they're eroding our rights and our freedoms, all of our rights and freedoms. So it lowers the wage, which they like as well. And so they're literally able to come through on boats here into London or here into the United Kingdom and they're let here and they're let into society? Uh, not just boats, they come through on student visas, they come through uh, so many. We, we let last year 1.2 The air passports? 2 million legal migrants. 1.2 million. 1.2 million legal migrants. And this isn't a very big land, like right? the United Kingdom is pretty small. Pretty small. 6 million people. 6 million. 6 million. 60, 60 million, we let in 1.2 million last year. Well, and there's a housing crisis and prices are going through the roof and no one can get a property. Young English, young English people can't get on the property ladder, can't get a dentist appointment. People are pulling their own teeth out because they can't get a dentist appointment. So your family have paid into a system for generations after generations after generation. You've lived in the same family. Your family have died to save and protect this country. And then you're put second rate and they're flooding the country. You're paying for it. You're struggling. You can't get a dentist appointment. There's so many problems. You can't even get your kid in a local school because they're all full of all the young Muslim kids that are getting bought in. So would you say that the English people here in the United Kingdom are being replaced by the migrants? Not just the English people. 
Every one of our countries we're being replaced. The whole of Europe, the dem you know, like people talk about um, re uh, the Great Replacement, yeah. Mm. And well, like we're saying, they're replacing us. There's a 177 page document from the United Nations on, on, on their plan to do this. This is planned, yeah. And what benefits do the migrants get here once they arrive to the United Kingdom? <laughs> they get everything, they get houses, they get so they get free meals a day, they get money. <sighs> Every action has a reaction, right? So back when, back when all of these wars was going on and all of these funding was getting sent to X, Y, and Z, and, and all of this stuff was happening to these original places where everybody originally was, we didn't think this far into the future. Nobody thought this far into the future? Question mark? I guess not. The, you know what it is? I, it, it sounds a little bit like karma. They, when I say they get free meals a day, you have got English old age pensioners who can't afford to turn their heating on. Maybe the English government feel bad. <laughs> Maybe like, dang, we didn't fund it this, that, and a third. The least we could do is... I'm just speaking hypothetically. I don't know. I'm just, you know... These, these lot are staying in four-star hotels. You've got English people who are dying, starving, all these different things, living in poverty, and you've got hotels full. I'd say now this country, it's a thousand years of English history here, a thousand years, and within two or three generations, they've absolutely destroyed this nation, and they're giving it away. Wow. In the United States, we have migrants from all around the world, but mainly Central, South America. We get a few from Middle East. What countries are coming in? to Europe. So your, your, your migration, I always look to your migration when people moan about Mexicans and think you have no idea. Yeah? When you get Middle Eastern, when you get Pakistani, when you get Syrian, when you get Somalian, you are going to have a shock America, yeah? Because you think there's a problem from the Mexicans. You, 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 you have no idea. The hostility, the rapes, you know the biggest problem in this country is they've literally, an invading army's coming to this country and their way through it. They're raping their way through it. Our daughters are being raped. Two and a half percent of this country is Muslim men. Two and a half percent. They're responsible for 90 percent of the convictions of groups of men that young children. And 30 percent of the men convicted are called Mohammed. Like, it doesn't work. This do and, and it's like mixing oil and water. It's not going to work. It doesn't work. Yeah? Mm -hmm. They're reliant on the state. They're not working. They're all on benefits. And these problems, as soon as you try and talk about these problems or highlight these problems, as an Englishman, or especially as a straight white male, they come down you like a ton of bricks. And the government, because these are all down to government failures in policy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So they don't want you talking about the problems or addressing the problems and warning about the problems of what open border mass immigration brings, especially from... In but also in the same breath, with that being said, at this point, like, is, is he spinning, I feel like Tommy is saying factual information. As far as, like, the conviction rate and 90% this, that, and that. That's, that, that's factual, right? Islamic nations. Would you say people are scared to walk around these streets here with all the migrants that are coming in? Uh, yeah, there's no go areas across this country where women would be scared. I'll, I'll tell you what, go dress a young girl up and walk her through the town. Go, t go dress a young girl up, an attractive girl, and tell her to walk through the Muslim area. See what happens. So what happens? Well, there are doors and there are towns, yeah? And you've imported these people in. And you've took away the safety of the, of the thing that we hold most precious to us, our families, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then when we try and talk about it, you want to silence us down. So we've been made to feel ashamed of being British and all cultures are equal, which they're not, yeah? We are a superior culture. We should celebrate it. Being born English is like winning the lottery of life, yeah? We're the best country in the world, the best, the best nation in the world. And I will say I agree with that. Being born in America and being born in England, it's like you hit the lottery of life. You like that's that's a, that's a fact. It's a it's a sad thing to say, but this is a, a thriving. These are thriving countries. They're on the they're on the top of the ladder. So like yeah, but also in that same breath, if you are naturally from these places and you are born in these places and you are failing at life then I can also point the finger and be like, that's your fault. You shouldn't be failing at life. And we want to celebrate it. Do you think the presidents of all these countries are in on this together? And do you think Donald Trump is going to interrupt this establishment that they're trying I, I, to create? I don't think they are. We know they are. We know they are. There's, a, there's an agenda. Now, I think Donald Trump, the reason why they've just tried to him, um, was because he's going to get in the way. 
is going to get in the way of what they do. They want war. They want the war in Ukraine. They've, they don't care that half a million Ukrainian men have been killed. They do not care. Yeah, it's money. It's profit. Okay, and you need. I think that if Donald Trump gets elected, we'll have peace again. Certainly, bring back peace. Tomorrow is the rally. It's going to be the biggest rally that. It's going to be the largest gathering of patriots of Britain's ever seen, and that is a a historic day and a historic moment because people. This has already happened though. Right, we've watched. Don't come out in support or celebration of their country. They've been dumbed down and made not to feel, feel not to. So we're going to send the establishment, who will be watching tomorrow, we're going to send them a very powerful message that we're not sitting by silently while you replace us. Mm -hmm. We're not sitting by silently while you keep the borders open, you destroy our security, our stability, and the future of our children, uh, for our children. What can we expect to see tomorrow at the rally? <laughs> who knows, man? <laughs> <laughs> and now, before we go to the biggest rally in the United Kingdom history, I need to tell you guys about the sponsor of this video, Tube magic. I get a lot of messages from you guys watching these videos. Cues are using and now we are uniting the kingdom and now there are thousands and thousands of people here. The time is here and now. How do you feel about all the migrants coming into Great Britain? I'm not racist at all, yeah? I don't mind them coming into the country and stuff like that. What I do mind is they're coming from war-torn countries and stuff like that. They're causing significant criminal offences and the police are letting them get away with it. That is what makes me sicken. My granddad will turn in his grave at the moment. At the end of the day, I don't mind people coming to the country. Britain is a great country. Come to Britain, but flourish. Don't, don't exploit the system. Come here, be happy and everything. You don't have to exploit the system. Britain's a great country. Britain is broken. How can Britain get fixed? How can Britain get fixed? Get rid of our government. That's what it needs to do. I was watching a documentary a long time ago, and I feel like it, um, like it plays a part into this. Like I feel like uh, it, it was a documentary where immigrants came into the country. I don't know. I forget what country. It could have been the UK. It could have been America. But they came into whatever country illegally. They got on benefits, but the whole thing, like if they went into particular like stories, like in like all the like all, I mean, almost all the stories, they were there. They were on benefits until they could get their paperwork right to actually get a job, and then once they were gonna get a job, they could they could get their family over the right way. You know what I'm saying? So some people might be doing that, and some people might just really also be taking advantage of it. And sending some of that money back home, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, imagine, like, these some of the immigrants get, like, X amount of dollars in their pocket, too. They can go withdraw it. I'm pretty sure they send that stuff back home. Like, a lot of it. <clears throat> so they can take care of their family back in the, in the trenches, the real trench. Do you think migrants are going to continue coming in until the... Of course they are, because the government's going to keep allowing it. Until we have some sort of restrictions on our borders. And now we've got a Labour government. And unfortunately, the Labour government has opened the borders even more than the uh, Conservative Parliament. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, there is going to be more immigrants coming over. And I understand why they're leaving their countries, their war-torn countries. But it's all males. It's a bit weird, isn't it? It's all males coming over. Males on the boats. It's not women, it's not children, it's just males. You guys have a rich history as far as World War one, World War Two. Yeah, and in the documentary I was watching, they only sent males because the males could work, and the, the the women stayed home to take care of the kids until the males could send for them. I just it's crazy that that I, I just remember, I'm just now remembering this documentary. I can't remember what it's called. If anybody knows what documentary I'm talking about? Put it in the comments. And the veterans that fought for you guys' land, and now you guys are being somewhat replaced by a lot of these migrants. A lot of these migrants are coming in, and people are saying they feel like they're being replaced. And the veterans that fought for you guys are on the streets while migrants get put up in hotels. How does that make you feel? It's just like me, like, once, once again, I understand both sides. I understand both sides. Like, I don't understand the violence of any side. Uh, and of course, there's people coming in. They're grouping themselves in there just to get away and just to cause havoc from everywhere or either side. Uh, but I understand like the, the the good part of both sides. Obviously, we're not having the good part. 
happy about it. We've got nothing about migration. We're not against migration. We're about controlling our borders. If I was to go to another country, I would be vetted. And if I'd been in trouble before or had any past history, I wouldn't be allowed in. We're not about <coughs> anti-immigration. We're about controlling the migration. And if we don't take control of the migration, we're going to be outnumbered in our own country. We will no longer be a Christian country. We'll be controlled by an Islamic movement. That's what is worrying and concerning. £29 million pounds spent on illegal immigrants in the last 18 months, all aged between... Don't, don't involve Christianity. Like, I understand, like, I get it, this is a Christian country, but, like, if we were really going by the Bible and, and this, that, and the third, the Bible teaches you to love everyone, no matter what, you know, and to forgive. <laughs> so, with that being said, that's not happening. So, like, when people throw the Bible around, like, don't use it as a tool to fit the agenda. Like, shut, shut up. <laughs> And just go with what you feel it in your heart and keep the Bible out of it if you're not really walking like that. Just stop. Don't do that. Because you almost pissed me off, dude. Like, don't do that. If you if you was really focused on the Bible, you'd be spreading love. <laughs> like, don't, don't, don't. Stop. Between 20 and 30, fighting age, no women, no children, put up in four or five star hotels, but yet there's veterans on our street, homeless. Comparison is a thief of joy. <laughs> Everybody was nice and cool before they got to comparing this, this, and the third with that, that, and the third. Hey, listen, love will heal all. On the street, it's all wrong. It needs to be put right. Government needs to be out here. If we have to um, issue Article 61 on common law, then so be it. We will do it. That's what's happening next if they don't listen. Why don't you recite a Bible verse since that's what you just brought it to? I'm sorry. Like, nah, he really rubbed me the wrong way. I don't know. It's just that one little piece of Bible, like he said. Like, don't, just don't do that. We will not comply you next time. A civil war is on the rise? A civil war is inevitable. It will happen if they don't listen. 100%. We're not messing about. Yeah? They need to listen. They need to wake up. The sheep all need to wake up because they're asleep. You don't see them coming across with their families. It's all military age fighting men that are coming across. There are no women and children. They are our girls in the street because it's legal from where they come from it's right. but they're coming over here victim uh, they're attacking our go say that again so it can come up on the chat our girls our wives our girlfriends our daughters on the streets my partner she's of mixed race english and jamaican so she's half black half white i don't care what color you are what creed you are you come to our country you live by our rules you follow our, our laws and you integrate. They do not want to integrate. They want their own states. They want their own communities. They're fascists. That's not what it's about. Fascists. They are fascists. They are the modern day fascists. And then it's weird because a lot of people would try to label that Great Britain's are fascists for going against my, no. the migrants. However, it seems like okay. the migrants. They will. They will the, try and put the British. Well. They will try and put the British man down. But at the end of the day, if it weren't for the British man and the Americans when they joined, the rest of the world would be speaking German right now if it weren't for the british man and the americans joining in we've really i always be feeling like that when people say that but I, I thought it was just the american in me when people get to saying i'm not a racist at all like like that that off rip if that's how we start a conversation i'm already judging you it's sending up red flags oh i got a black friend that's it's sending red flags like the automatic, and I thought it was just an American thing, so I never really addressed it. But I see it's not from my, from the chat, so it's like, yo, <laughs> all right. And you can't. I don't feel like you should lead with that ever, ever. It's a, it's not a good look. Realized that through falling away from the church, we've well, that's just me as a black man in America. Like you should never leave. But oh, I got black friends. Even I tell my my friends of less melanin, don't do that. <clears throat> don't do that. Just make your point and make sure it's valid. Actually, and if you are asked, then yeah. 
lost our identity and we've allowed other people to come in. There are more churches closing in the UK now at the moment than there are public houses. And becoming mosques. And becoming our churches mosques. are closing and being becoming mosques. You guys is that a fact? I'm curious, is that a fact? I never heard of it. Our traditionally Christian country, but now you guys are being almost flipped to a Muslim country. Yes, yes. Absolutely. absolutely. They want Sharia law. Do you think diversity is killing the Western world? Yes, absolutely it is. There are literally over 50,000, potentially upwards of 100,000 people here at this rally because they are sick of what is happening here in the United Kingdom. With Where is Nico and the EDL? What like this? I know he's cooking up the best video. I know he is. I just believe it in my heart that Nico is out here and he's making a difference and he's ready to emerge at any time. I feel it. Nico, where are you? With the migrant crisis and other issues that are happening here inside the United Kingdom. Either Love or Nico can set this up right. How do you guys feel about all the migrants that have entered into the United Kingdom? I need to turn around and go home. Yeah. We're, Sorry, we're, no. We've got enough room at the inn. Uh, we need to get our own people sorted first and then we can start opening the borders again. But now, until our then, National we need to Health our Service border. is crumbling because we are getting people <coughs> coming over and using our health system. I'm going to be real with you. Every since, like, I hear, I hear you. That may be true, but I've, ever since I started doing UK content and reacting to it, once again, I'm not there. I cannot give an opinion, but I will say. I've always seen my comments and I've been, I, I, the NHS, I've always heard that it was not good. I've always heard that it's always packed, it can never get people, it never does anything. I've always heard that. I've never heard that it's, oh, it's 100% running current. I've never heard that. I've always heard that though, that it wasn't doing good. It's not good. So I feel like right now, so I don't know if, I, if I'm right in feeling like they're placing the blame. Oh, dead. Oh my God. The blame is being placed, like scapegoating a little bit, because I've always heard that. I've never heard any positive remarks about the NHS. They, that's all they come over for is to use the NHS, some of them, yeah. and to like to to make their kid, you know, us We're as parents. Taxes, Contradiction. Yeah. And to like to oh, that's all they come over for is to use the NHS, some of them, yeah. and to like to to make their kid, you know, us We're as parents. Taxes, See what I'm saying? The NHS has been like that since I was a kid. Like it's all like that. Like it's never been like. Everybody is always taking advantage of a free situation. Most people work 40 to what, 70 hour a week? Uh, uh, yeah. It's terrible. We can't even afford to live. You know, we are a multicultural country. Uh, we, we, need, we need immigrants to come into our country, which is fair enough. As long immigrants as they that are going to come in integrate. and put into our society yeah. and don't Bring try something and change to the, table. the way that we live into the way where you was living that you've left to come over. Like moving in, something's happening here. Yeah. Yeah. Now we are here at a counter rally. It's called the Stop Racism mm -hmm. Rally, and they are very against Tommy Robinson, but we're going to hear what they have to say on the migrant crisis here in the UK. Smash fascism Smash and racism, racism. racism. Yeah. by any means necessary. What do you think about the migrant situation here in the United Kingdom? My, 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 my is quite simple, that migrants are welcome here. Migrants, are, it's not their fault that they have to leave, con leave countries which are subject to war, to famine, to devastation. Wars that are often, in fact, to do with the West. It is the West that often has been. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, old man, old timer. Talk to him, because I just made this point. Talk to him, old timer. Uh, instrumental in those wars, if not actually causing them, at least fueling them. Okay, what would you say to the people that say that the United Kingdom is being invaded? I, I would say that's rubbish. The, the, I tell you what is, is an, a, an invasion. An invasion of our rights is from those people in the, uh, over in Trafalgar Square. That's an invasion. That's an invasion of a, an ideology of fascism uh, which invades our country. There's the invasion for you. So would you say that the people over there at that rally that we were just at are the part of the problem? I you know what I will do? Hold on. My bad. I understand. I will hit the like button and I will subscribe. If you're watching my channel, do the same.
I would, absolutely. Whipping up racism, whipping up the idea of invasion. Would you say the migrant situation is benefiting the country at all here? I think that migrants have always benefited the country. Here you have a sign that says refugees Every welcome, country. open the borders, no deportation. Why do you stand for open borders and no deportation? Um, because, yeah, I think refugees should be welcome in this country. People should have a right to flee countries where they're being oppressed and find somewhere safe to live. What would you have to say to the people, you were just at the Tommy Robinson rally, and a lot of them are very, uh, it sounded like they're kind of like, oppo they're not opposed to the migrants, but they feel like they're being invaded by what's going on and they should not be coming over here to the United Kingdom. What would I say to them? Yeah. I would say to try and have empathy and understanding. So would you say it's more of a lack of empathy than anything when people complain about migrants coming into their countries? I think it's a lack of empathy, a lack of understanding. I think it's fear, because there's a lot of fear-mongering done by our politicians and by our media. The right and the far right are just exploiting the narrative and driving the narrative. It ain't a big issue here. The bigger issues are the cost of living crisis. Mm -hmm. um, would you say that the migrants, with all the migrants coming in, the cost of living has rise because of rents? It, and not because, not because of the migrants, no. No chance. Do you believe there is racism here in the United Kingdom? Oh, absolutely. You, you've only got to see the news. Uh, we all saw the, uh, the police <coughs> kick somebody in Manchester Airport when he was on the floor. Uh, yeah, I think the, that. Yeah, we've got institutional racism in this country, still. And is that racism coming because of the influx of migrants that has arrived here in the United Kingdom, or where is this, the majority of this racism coming from? Uh, I would put it down to people stirring up hatred as to advance their own political aims. Racism is bred. Is it? If you see anybody, like it's 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 just there. It could be dormant for however long it needs to be dormant, but when a situation arises, and you could even possibly get into that bag, it probably will surface. You know what I'm saying? People like Tommy Robinson, who we've got in London at the minute as well. What do you think about the migrant crisis here in the United Kingdom? I don't think we've got a migrant crisis in the United Kingdom. We've got people coming here because they're desperate, because of the countries that we've exported war to, primarily Iraq. Uh, I don't think we're <coughs> overwhelmed by migrants or anything like that at all. It's just a, a fantasy to direct hate at people. I went back to Tommy Robinson's rally and it seemed like all hell had broken loose after a man came to the rally with a Palestinian flag. I'm not gonna lie, buddy with the flag wanted all smoke, but he probably went there to prove a point. I'm not gonna, like, he knew what was gonna happen when that happened. Your shirt says, support the country you live in, or live in the country you support. If you're not going to integrate, don't try and dominate. You cannot have them both. Don't, don't come in if you're going to try to dominate. You have, yes. We don't want immigrants coming in to try and dominate. You want immigrants that coming in is going to integrate. Mm -hmm. So if these immigrants that are coming in aren't integrating, what are they doing? They're setting up a subculture that eventually is going to overpower the natural historical culture that's been here for thousands of years. You, you think the, the culture of the United Kingdom is changing? 100%, yeah, 100%. They're going to outbreed, they're going to outbreed the nationalists in this country. They're having four or five children to our one or two. So it's just going to be two or three generations you're going to have. So in 50 years, this country could it's be gone. an Islamic yeah, it's state. Gone. It's going to be like Iran. We have moved to the city of Latin. Latin was Get your libido checked and get to, you know what I'm saying, reproducing. One of the most controversial, most interesting cities in all of the UK because it is known for being the most dangerous, diverse, and the roughest city in all of the UK. It's a home to 
lots and lots of migrants that have came here. A lot of people are saying the migrants aren't integrating well and you can see different sides in different areas where there's groups of migrants that are from Africa, Pakistan, all different parts of the world. However, they feel like there's a lot of segregation and difference in the society here inside Loon. So we're gonna go in, talk to the people and see how the migrant situation here has affected the city. And after walking around the town for nearly an hour, we finally met somebody that would speak to us. What is the town of Latin like? This town is Luton. First of all, you, you guys, coming from USA. So welcome in United Kingdom. <laughs> Good to see you here. Yeah, what a great guy. Look at this guy. Just a great guy. How happy. Thank you. So this is Luton. This is Luton, full of hospitality. Yeah, would you like water? Cold uh, water. Please give me two cold water bottles, please. <laughs> they are visitors from the door. We hear, right. we hear Latin is the most diverse town in all of the UK. Well, no, not really. No, 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 no. Who's saying to you? It's totally wrong. No. Wait, 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 sir. I don't think you heard what he said. No. <laughs> please don't say that. We've no, heard, no, no. We are very... We've... We've heard it's a great city and there's many different cultures here. Oh, yes, definitely, definitely. See? Oh, there we go. Good guy. He had to rephrase it. He had to rephrase it for him. This is the other thing is most welcome every culture. Like me, I'm, I'm overseas. I'm not, even now, I'm not born here. Mm -hmm. My Honestly, my kids is born here. They're getting bigger. Maybe, you know, it's different. So many cultures they are. So sometimes it happens, but it's not that. It's not that. No, 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 no. How is the city of Lewin? The city is very beautiful, guys, but uh, it's too dangerous. You know, this is the problem. No work, too many cars, too many, you know. Is he, is he French? Oh, it's crazy, man. It's very crazy and, you know, this is the problem. What makes the city of Luton so dangerous? It's very dangerous, my friend. You don't have work here, you don't have, you know, and the people, because you don't have work, you have bad situation. Y'all ever seen The Boys? The Boys? On uh, HBO Max, The Boys? He looks like the French guy. A lot of people, it's homeless, you know, it's looking for jobs, it's looking for something. And when you refer to crackers, who are you referring well, to? Oh, crackers. Too many people, so it's smoking in the street. Uh, shit, you know, and for this, because it's smoking, that people is dangerous. For people who have family, who have kids, you know, it's dangerous, brother. Okay, and, where, and what country are you from? Me, from Bangladesh, brother. Would you say that with all... Oh, from Bangladesh, okay. All the migrants that are coming here, it's made it a more dangerous city over the years? Yeah, 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 yeah. Syrian, how long have you been in Luton for? Your city over the years? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not slick. You're not slick, buddy. We see you. That booger sugar. I knew you was talking a little bit too fast. I knew something was Syrian, how long have you been in Luton for? I want you. What do you get in Luton? Is it free to live here? Yeah. How does it work inside the shelter? What do they give you inside the shelter? Money. Money? How much? 290. Every month? Yeah. Okay, so they give the migrants here per $290 month? per month. And with that, do you also get free rent? Yeah. Uh, free rent as well? Yeah. Do you like living here compared to Syria? Yeah, of course. And yeah, what's it like in Syria right now? Uh, nothing, just war in Syria. So how did you get here? Did you come in boat? Yeah, yeah, in the boat. Scary? <laughs> of course. How long have you lived in Luton for? Ah, uh, living be like one year and a half. And how did you get here? Uh, I get by boat. By boat? Yeah, from France. What kind of benefits do migrants get here in the United Kingdom once they come over on the boat? Yeah, we can uh, get safety and uh, help each other. We can get college, we can do your job, finish it like for five, five years, give you a house, they give you everything, but it's not enough for us. You know what I'm saying? So. And how long can a migrant stay in a hotel for? Uh, I have no idea, but um, someone is my friend. Is it, I think it's the same here too. If you come from somewhere else and you like, I, I I'm not sure. Let me, let me stop. I don't know. I think I'm not sure. Two or three years. Two years. And just to show you guys how vast and wide and big of a crisis this is here inside Europe and especially here in the UK, we are at Buckingham Palace, where the king and queen of the royal family live and just blocks away migrants have set up their own encampment at a park literally within a few minute walk from buckingham palace a group of migrants from romania had set up their own tent city all right so here inside the encampment uh i already got told that i should leave hello how are you how long have you guys been living here for 
Long time. Long time? Yeah. And where are you guys from? Romania. Romania? The lady then told me she would speak with me only if I would buy her food. So, next thing I knew, I was following her to a restaurant nearby. Makes sense. Makes sense. Not even mad at it. She hungry. I had to buy her some food in order for her to talk to me. She then accepted me into her tent city. Is this all your family? Yes, all together. What made you guys set up your tents here in this park? This park? Yeah. I have this council, a clinic. Look, put the clinic. It's very good. So it's your whole entire family that has taken over this entire park, and it looks like there's about 15 or so tents here. Yeah. Has yeah. the city tried to kick you guys out? Yeah. And what happens? I don't have any little money. Uh, here is the job is good. Uh, this moment is not possible, a job. Well, now she's starting to laugh, and now we're just talking here. So now we're deep in here. There's a lot of tents here, and uh, she's saying they're from a family from Romania. They've been here for a few years here inside the UK, but now because they've lost their jobs and they are not receiving any more benefits from the government, now they have moved out here to this tent city that they have created as a family, and there's a lot of them right <coughs> here. And uh, she doesn't speak English that well, and she was nice enough to let me come in here, and now I'm gonna- I'm pretty sure like cleanliness plays a role, safety, because of the proximity of the queen and king, or the king. Uh, there's a lot because, of Because uh, some other guys in here were getting pretty hostile trying to kick me out and I, I don't want to get in any fights because here in London they also have a knife stabbing crisis so I'm gonna get out of here what now that I don't like imagine somebody trying to kick you out of a public park thank you so much for watching this that's funny TLO leave a like comment let me know what you think